Louisiana Beer Reviews, Shiner Bach. Shiner Bach beer has been on the market since 1913 and it's been made year round since 1973. It's 4.4% alcohol. It um, has a 13 IBU rating. It gets a C plus on Beer Advocate. The bros gave it a C minus. I gave it a B plus. It gets an above average rating on Rape Beer and it gets an average rating on the Beer and Me. I've had it before and um, quite a few times, but I'm gonna try to be open-minded as usual and not go by what I thought about it in the past. Okay, it's made at a brewery in Shiner, Texas on US Highway 90 alternative route. Alternate route. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. See a pretty good amount of smoke coming up out of here. A lot more as I tip the bottle. I was able to pour out the whole 12 ounces without an overflow and you can see the head is thin and it's beige color it's a beige color the appearance is uh, amber color lots of bubbles streaming up this glass lots of bubbles lots of bubbles okay and it's clear so you can imagine it's highly filtered. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give it the smell test. <clears throat> Trying to pick up an odor. I guess it sounds better if I say an aroma. But I really cannot detect anything. <clears throat> Sorry, folks. Nothing. No aroma. All right, well, <laughs> hopefully it'll have a taste. Taste test. It's sweet. Lightly roasted. It's uh, very mild. You pick up malt, a little bitty bit of hoppiness just to balance it out. Uh, the mouthfeel is light and watery. The, tint, the, the finish is crisp, clean refreshing. I know I keep saying that in all my reviews, but there's so many beers that are like that. It's such a common uh, trait of beer, especially lagers. All right. I'm going to give it one more taste before I give it a rating. To me, it used to be a little stronger of a taste. I'm thinking back in 2000, I mean in 1996, 97, 98, I used to really love Shiner Bach. But I don't know, around 10 years ago, it seemed like it started losing its uh, robustness, like it uh, was being watered down. I know it has new owners, the, the brewery is owned by Gambrinus of San Antonio. So I don't know, I mean, it's not a bad taste, but I mean, a lot of times water is not a bad taste. I'm going to drop my my rating down to a C plus, I guess. It's high average. And the consistency with these smaller breweries, breweries a lot of times is questionable. So when I gave it a B a year or two ago when I rated it, a B plus might have been one that was just fantastic or at least very good. So it went from very good to just average plus. Sorry, Shiner. Got to do better than this. Oh, well, I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans.